Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is to address an issue that uh, some people have been having with the AT10. I don't know if this also happens. No, it doesn't happen with the AT9 because it's a, a whole different procedure. But um, some people have been having trouble uh, when upgrading their uh, AT10 and then they turn it on and just nothing happens. The screen goes blank. This is a problem of uh, the firmware, the firmware being poorly uh, updated to the um, to the radio. Now, the, this update only works, this radio, you can only update it on Windows 7 or below that, or for, let's say, 7 or XP. If you go Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, which is my case right here, it will not work. And I'm going to show you what happens. So, um, now this radio is working perfectly, no problems, okay, with the uh, software, the latest software, um, and it doesn't have a problem. So, let's go and upgrade it uh, with a different uh, firmware. So, I'm going to connect it to, to my PC, and remember, this is a, let me put the radio here for you can see, this is a Windows 10, okay, Windows 10 laptop. Okay, guys? So, oops, sorry, my bad. So, I'm going to try and upgrade my my uh, um, AT10 um, using my Windows 10 um, laptop. So, I'm going to connect it, just like the instructions uh, tells you to. So, I did. It will recognize, as you can see, I've got the radio connected right here. It's blinking. It will recognize the drive over here. Uh, so let's go to my computer. And you have this one right here, removable drive, drive D in my case. So here we go. Here's the um, actual, let me just put this a little bit closer for you guys to see. Here's the uh, bin file, okay? So the procedure is to erase this one or copy it cutting it to another location. I'm just going to erase it. Okay, so let's delete. It asks you, are you sure? And I, and I say yes. So, apparently, the, um, the, the procedure worked. So I'm going to go and pick up the other firmware that I want to. Let's say this one, one of the beta ones, and copy to the D. And it says copied. So, Apparently everything worked as it should. So, so now I'm going to go and close it. Close all folders here. I'm going to pick up my radio. Okay. Just disconnect it. Turn it off. Right. Re remove the USB cable and turn it on. And nothing happens. Here we go. We got black screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and head up to my uh, Windows 7 PC and continue this video there. Right, fellas, now we're at the PC, the Windows 7 PC. And now, let me just pick up cable here. Doesn't matter which one. I have one, okay. I'm going to connect my USB to the PC. Oops. Bear with me. So I'm going to, to connect it connect it to and remember the radio is not working. Okay, it's powered on, but red light doesn't work. So let's um, connect our USB. Turn the radio on. The computer immediately recognizes it as being a hard drive. Right there. So open it, and then, as you can see, the other bin file is still there, okay? So let's delete this one. Let's say we want to delete it, and as soon as you say yes, and this is the uh, signal right here that you need to be aware of. As we say yes, the light, one of the, the LEDs will, will stay um, solid when it's doing something. So as you can see, the red LED stayed solid for a moment there. 
So that's the signal that this is, the procedure is correct. So let's go and pick up the other uh, software. I'm going to pick up the beta software. You can find those on the video description below and on in all and in all of the other videos that I made about these radios. So let's copy it and let's paste it into here. And as you can see, the LED goes solid when it is copying. Okay, so almost finished. Let me show you both of them. Almost finished. It's an EEPROM, so it's slow. I said that before. And it's done when it starts blinking. So everything should be okay now. Let's try it out. Um, let's power down our radio. Power down. Cable out. And voila. It works again. It's alive. So yeah, guys. Well, uh, if you have this trouble, if you have this kind of a problem, if you find that your radio just doesn't, um, you know, doesn't turn on, sometimes it will happen when it reaches your hands. Uh, the uh, seller will try to upgrade it and think it is upgraded because they don't test it afterwards, and they think they did a good job, but in fact they didn't. They used uh, a, uh, for example, a Windows 8 or 8.1 or even 10 to upgrade it, and it doesn't work. So yeah, guys, uh, use Windows 7 to upgrade your AT10, and you should be uh, good to go. So this was it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.